For something that could easily be resolved by talking something through, someone picks up a weapon and kills and harms others. That's unacceptable. Folks need to be held accountable that are doing this. A shooting in a crowded parking lot. Dozens of witnesses, but few answers in a shooting that may have all started with an argument. LMPD today releasing the image of a vehicle, but no suspect in Saturday's shooting outside of West Louisville nightclub. Eight people were shot. One has died. Wave News reporter Alina Noakes has more on LMPD's investigation and the mounting frustration in another shooting without much help. It's becoming an all too common occurrence. Shootings with large crowds of people around, but no arrest. And for more examples of that, you don't have to look very far back. No suspects and no arrest. That's the case after a deadly Saturday shooting outside the H2O Lounge in West Louisville, but it's not the only one. An LMPD spokesperson tells me that's the case for two other recent event shootings, both with more than a few dozen witnesses. Five teens and one adult shot at a teen party in PRP the first weekend of June, but still no suspects. In early May, two killed and two others injured at the Hotspot Bar in Southland Park. Again, a crowd of people on site, but still no one is coming forward two months later. It's incredibly frustrating. Uh, we know there are folks out in our community that know what happened. We'd love to have their help. But what's more frustrating is that people use guns to try to solve disputes. LMPD believes the shooting outside of the H2O lounge first started as an argument that led to one man's death and seven others injured. The suspect, police say, fled in this Chevy Tahoe, riddled with bullet holes from the suspect's own gun. Uh, we believe that that vehicle, that that damage occurred at the time of the shooting and that the vehicle was possibly disabled uh, and would not have been able to travel very far uh, from the scene. About 40 people were outside when that shooting happened and police are making a plea for those people to speak up. We desperately need the community's help uh, to come forward to give information, whether that's firsthand information, that what they witnessed, what they saw, what they've heard, uh, their, their, their knowledge and input is greatly needed to solve these cases. In neighborhoods across Louisville, the problem has reached a fever pitch, with residents fed up as the violence continues and fears grow. To think that when you leave your loved ones, you might not go back or you might come back traumatized because of an incident in the nightclub when a nightclub is supposed to be fun, that is, it's sad. What are we doing to create people that, are, that don't care about their lives are the lives of others. Police are urging anyone with information on any of these shootings to come forward. A full description of that suspect's car in this weekend shooting can be found over on our website at wave3.com. Alina Noakes, Wave News. Lena, thank you.